Hey everyone, Dr. D here, and in this video I'm explaining the fifth and final part of mitosis. This is the fifth and final subphase called telophase. And by this point, remember, the sister chromatids had just uh, separated from one another in anaphase. And in telophase, those sister chromatids have fully separated to opposite poles of the cell. So, this cell has a dad's chromosome 1, and this other new daughter cell, developing daughter cell, also has an exact same copy of that dad's chromosome 1. This cell has a mom's chromosome 1. This cell has an identical mom's chromosome 1. This cell has a dad's chromosome 2. This cell also has an identical copy. You get the point. Whatever chromosomes are now in this developing daughter cell are also in this developing daughter cell the same genetics, the same genomic information is in both developing cells. And what you should realize is during telophase, look, a new nucleus starts to form, okay? See, a nucleus starts to form around this genome, this DNA, and a new nucleus starts to form around this as well. So, what's happening? Daughter nuclei form, two daughter nuclei form, okay? And the DNA at this point, now that the DNA has been separated, at this point the DNA is free to start to unravel, right? The DNA does not have to be so condensed, it doesn't have to exist as mitotic chromosomes. Uh, the DNA is free to relax and un, un decondense, I should say, and become uh, like spaghetti again. You know, remember back to chromatin structure, euchromatin. Um, the DNA um, exists as a relaxed structure. It does not exist in these tightly coiled up structures except for or outside of mitosis. The DNA is free to relax. Okay, and what you should realize is what this at the end of mitosis, at the end of mitosis, what have we achieved? What is the product of mitosis? This is what you need to understand. What has happened at the end of mitosis? Um, by the end of mitosis, you should have two genetically identical cells. Okay, it's very important that you understand this. Um, why? Do you remember you had 46 chromosomes originally in a human, right? You had 46 chromosomes. Then you copied each and every chromosome. Remember during interphase, you copied every single chromosome. Okay, so you had 92 chromosomes. And then those copies were the sisters in the sister chromatid pair. And what did we do? We just separated the sisters. So we sent in one exact copy to one new cell and one exact copy to the other new cell. So you should have now two cells that are genetically identical to one another and genetically identical to the parent cell that made them. Okay. So those are the important things to understand about mitosis, telophase, and I hope this makes everything clear. Okay, um, by the way, notice how cytokinesis has already started here. The cell has started to pinch with a cleavage furrow formation. What you should realize is this. Cytokinesis is not part of telophase, but it is concurrent. That means it can happen about the same time, okay? Before telophase is finished, oftentimes cytokinesis has begun. But cytokinesis is not part of mitosis. Cytokinesis is its own thing. But mitosis and cytokinesis together are called M phase or mitotic phase. All right, so I hope this helps. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. And uh, thank you for watching.